So we are facing west on the easement road and we'll be coming up on track 18 uh, pretty much any time. It is surveyed with the corners marked. So we're gonna be on the lookout for a survey mar marker on the left and there it is. You can see some pink ribbon. Uh, you'll see a, a fence post, but actually the, the survey marker is at the base of that fence post. It's got a yellow cap on it. So that's gonna be um, the northeast corner of the property. So as we look westerly, it's on the left. Uh, it's actually over 300 feet wide and then goes back to the south. Looks like it's a total of 22.16 acres. Nice big tract, tract 18. It's basically all wooded other than uh, the little driveway in sight. You can see some trees that are down over here. That's not from any recent logging. That's just from this road uh, being widened out and improved. Skid loader bucket not included. I'm sure they're just storing that there temporarily. And there is a little driveway and trail right there. Looks like that goes back to a, uh, a cleared site. Beautiful timber, big pines and oaks. And then the northwest corner will be somewhere toward the edge of that field on, on this side, on our side of the field. I'm gonna go ahead and pull down the driveway and check out the site. We just had quite a bit of rain. Uh, I'm in a four wheel drive, but still use caution when you're out here. guys came through with the mulcher and kind of mulched some of the smaller trees to open up the driveway and the site. Use caution in your truck, your SUV, because uh, sometimes the mulcher leaves these little kind of stubs that you can see and those are really tough on the sidewalls of your tires. So you just want to be aware of that. Looks like a gorgeous site. Wow. They left a big mature pine tree just to kind of make things interesting. And then the site itself is mostly level, so this is gorgeous. As you go northerly from the site, it looks like it begins to slope down there. Beautiful section of property though, level for the most part. We've got a mixture of pine and oak trees. And just a big, big site. This does have that little creek, Pine Creek, uh, which flows over it at some point. We checked out Pine Creek in a couple different spots. I don't know if we were back there on this property, but uh, it was flowing just a little bit. Very peaceful. This has one of the not only one of the longer driveways, but one of the bigger sites uh, that we've seen out here. This is gorgeous. More than enough room to, to pull down here um, with even a, a big camper and get turned around and get situated. Again, watch out for some of the little stubs and some of these uh, rocks that the mulcher kicked up. <clears throat> Usually within about a year, these stubs that were left by the mulcher, they, they dry up and, and practically disintegrate. Gorgeous property. We'll do the drone video as well so you can see it from the air. Uh, but I mean, it, it's a track where you've got the potential to do a mile of private trails if you wanted. If you wanted to open up some shooting lanes, you'd have that option as well, uh, just because of the way it is situated. But with that, it's a full... 
uh, actually over 300 feet wide. So with the wooded property being 300 feet wide, uh, you've got maximum privacy. You could do a trail going back a quarter mile or even a half a mile almost on this one. Beautiful, beautiful tract out here.